everyone how are you so I wanted to talk to you guys about something a little more important and serious today so recently as you know it is the one year anniversary of Shiny's Jonghyun's death and suicide so it's been a very trying experience for a lot of people a lot of people in the k-pop industry themselves are very distraught over it the idols who actually know Jonghyun and have spent time with him are even more devastated but you know of course the fans are just as equally hurt and in pain over Jonghyun's suicide and I am definitely one of the fans who also feel upset over it too and I also want to share and show my love and support for other fans just like me of k-pop who have you know, been with Jonghyun since his debut. I've been listening to K-pop since 2007, so I was there when he first showed his beautiful face on the stage. You know, you never want to lose someone who's close and dear to you or someone who inspires you, especially in that way. Um, it really surprised me because even my mom called me that day and she just like felt really sad and hurt by his death too, and then she just told me that, um, he reminded her a lot of me and I wondered why but she was saying just in the sense that someone who's young and still chasing their dreams so hard and sometimes you can't achieve them and then it can result in something like that so I think she wasn't getting it on the k-pop level like we do but she was just feeling it emotionally so so in this time of like grievance um, I wanted to just, you know, find comfort and whenever I'm stressed or seek comfort, I try to calm myself down, do something therapeutic. My most favorite thing is just to take care of myself because self-care is quite important. And one way I do self-care is through like face masks. So I decided to initiate the Junghyun Suicide Awareness Campaign. It's not something super huge or phenomenal. It's just something I wanted to try and I wanted to work hard towards and provide to, you know, people who are are fans of k-pop just like me and who are looking for some sort of way to comfort themselves and also donate to a good cause so for the Junghyun suicide awareness campaign I contacted multiple and different like companies or agencies that I could collaborate with in order to produce something that you guys could get to comfort yourselves and also know that you're donating or helping out towards a cause now don't get me wrong I think you should absolutely be able to donate as much as you want and even donate in any way you would like to. This is my way of coping. I know that suicide and death is such a bigger entity than me and this campaign that I'm starting, but everyone has a method of coping. This is my method of coping, which is talking about it, sharing something, and now actually doing something. I thought a great way to give back to fans and give them some support while also knowing that they could donate is to create this campaign with Cause Allure, which is a makeup company that I've done some work with in the past. They decided to donate 10% of any purchases to the suicide awareness program that I've selected. The link will be down below and you can see how to donate yourself if you don't feel like donating in this way. I'm just really excited to start that with you guys. I know that um, this is a very serious time. I don't want to come off as being like insensitive. It's not what I'm trying to do. It was something that I wanted to start so that way um, people can, you know, get awareness but actually take action. And the action that I want people to do is to try to donate. And maybe you just don't want to simply donate and that's fine. If you want to receive something back, then I think this is a beautiful method and way of doing that. And for one whole month, we will be actively donating 10% of any of the purchases made on the website. So you can purchase a face mask, you can purchase a collection, you can purchase just an essence or a peeling gel, anything like you want, lip tint even, and 10% of it will be donated. Also got some companies to donate some money um, towards the campaign, so I'm really excited to announce the official amount of money that we'll be donating. Towards the end of January, I will make an announcement about how we will donate it, like writing the check, taking the pictures, and sending it to the foundation that we chose, and then you guys can see it and know that because of you, you were a part of it and you made this possible. So thank you so much for joining me on this venture. Thank you for helping me even make this campaign come to light. I really hope that I can raise at least like over a hundred dollars, like just, just something small. I know that it might not be a lot. I'm not expecting people to spend money or do a lot, but I just want to bring awareness in my own unique way and I just want to initiate action from people. Not just awareness, but an action to donate or, um, you know, provide some sort of funds 
towards suicide prevention. So thank you so much for watching, thank you so much for listening, and thank you so much for considering even being a part of the campaign. And if you do join, a giant thumbs up to you, and I thank you very much, and I hope that I can create more fun campaigns and foundations and donations and charities for you in the future. So that way we can participate and just, you know, put a smile on everyone's faces. Annyeong! Bye bye! These are my new dolls recently, aren't they cute? <laughs>